What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Kill coming back with another video, man. You already know what's going on. We about to go ahead and get into another tutorial. Um, this one right here is basically how to make a clean version of a song and also how to filter sweep your beats. Like, you know, like them cool e EQ filters on a beat that just make it sound different. Um, going left or right or whatever. So I'm going to show y'all that real quick. Um, but the first thing I want to show y'all is how to make a clean version real quick. And uh, it's very simple. First thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and chop the middle of the word so like whatever curse word you're trying to clean up i'm gonna play this clip right here and you guys are gonna hear what i did and i just chopped dead center in the middle of it so let me let y'all hear that real quick i'm tired of watching niggas pass us up from the bleachers i'm tired all right so as you can hear you can hear the curse word right there so i've already chopped the middle of it so how you would chop the middle of that you just use your scissor tool and you can just chop dead center in the middle of that. So I'm going to play it one more time. And then I'm going to show you what to do to go ahead and clean it up. I'm tired of watching niggas pass us up from the bleak. I'm tired of watching niggas. All right. Um, all right. So basically, all you have to do to clean it up, really, is you want to go ahead and get your fade tool. And then you want to go ahead and fade the left. And then you want to go ahead and fade the right up just a bit. Not too much. And uh, you want to right click the top of it and you want to make sure that slow down is selected instead of fade. And then on the other side of it, on the right side, you want to make sure that speed up is selected instead of fade. And then you'll get this. I'm tired of watching the biggest pass us up for easy, simple, clean way to go ahead and make a clean version. And you can make it sound even cleaner. You know what I'm saying? So you can play with it to get it to sound exactly how you want it to sound. But uh, that's just the basics of it. You just want to chop the middle of the word and then you want to go ahead and fade it left and right. And then you want to speed it up. I mean, you want to slow it down and then you want to speed it up. I'm tired of watching niggas pass us up on the bleachers. You know what I'm saying? That's simple. Sounds like a radio edit. I'm tired of watching niggas pass us up on the bleachers. All right. Uh, and then another quick thing I want to show y'all is how to sweep EQ your beat or filter EQ. Just filter out your beats, basically, in certain places of the song. So I'm going to just use this same section as an example. So uh, what you want to do is you just want to pull up a channel EQ. Or you can really use any EQ that's like this, um, any graphical EQ, um, fab filter, anything like that. But basically what we're going to do is automate it. So I got my high pass filter on and I got my uh, low pass filter on and we're just going to automate it so you want to go here under channels and you want to go to channel eq and then you want to go to high cut frequency right here all right then you want to make a few bands i've already made a few bands and then um you want to go ahead and just automate it to how you want it to sound so i'm gonna pull up the channel eq so you can see what it's actually doing as i automate it all right so let me just get my pointer tool real quick all right, so as I bring this down, my bad y'all, I wanna really grab this one. As I bring this down, you can see that my low pass is going ahead and getting engaged. So I could do it this way and just have it go from having everything in the beat to, to basically having nothing in the beat or we can do it from having all the high frequencies in the beat. And then we go to having less high frequencies all right so we want to go ahead and i'm going to show you what it sounds like like this so we're going to go from high all the high frequencies to basically low frequencies in this clip right here and we're just going to see what that sounds like i'm tired of watching niggas pass us up from the bleachers i'm tired all right, so that sounded pretty cool. So you can see how it's quick to just filter out your beat and kind of add more production value to it by just doing simple EQ sweeps and tricks like this. So um, I'm gonna play it one more time and then we're gonna do it the opposite way and see what it sounds like. I'm tired of watching niggas pass us up from the bleachers. All right, and I and you know if I was using this on a song, I probably would make it just a little bit longer. Um, you know, just for the feel of it, it kind of happened fast. So I'll pull it out a little bit. Let's play it one more time. I'm tired of watching niggas pass us up from the bleachers. I'm tired. All right, all right. So we can reverse that, and I'm gonna go ahead and turn this up, make another little point right here, and we're gonna turn this down. So it's basically gonna do the opposite. We're gonna come from having nothing below end, and then we're gonna go to being full. 
I'm tired of watching niggas pass us up from the bleachers. All right, so yeah, you could just play with that on your songs and just see where that can fit best at. You feel me? Um, and that's pretty much it, man. I just wanted to tap in with y'all real quick. That's how to do clean versions and how to do quick automation of EQ on your beat just to change up the sound, filter it out, you know, add a little more production value to it. I appreciate everybody that's tapping in with me, man. Y'all make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. If you aren't subscribed already, come join the family and upgrade your quality and audio. And uh, stay tuned for the next video, man. Turn on your post notifications. If you are subscribed, I will be dropping a lot of content this week, man. So y'all stay tuned for that. And I'll catch up with y'all in the next video. I'm out.